well, today's the day. After 33 days of walking and over 783 kilometers, we are arriving to Santiago de Compostela today. We'll show you the entire route there, the 20 kilometers from Opino to Santiago, all of our reflections on this journey, and of course, our feelings upon arrival to that beautiful, magnificent cathedral. Let's see what it's like. On the road. The first few kilometers outside of Opino are really nice in this trail. It's shaded, it feels cool. There's blue skies up. Yeah. It's a beautiful day, it's beautiful weather. Lots of pilgrims, lots of smiling, excited faces. It's a really pleasant morning, really pleasant trail to be walking on for our last day. And I've heard the last few five kilometers are all city walking straight into Santiago. So we're enjoying the nature and the sound of birds while we can. All right, we just stopped here for one last coffee on the road. God, we've had so many coffees so... on our Camino. The coffee on the Del Norte was superb. And you know what, we'll miss that aspect of it too. We'll miss it all. The walking, the breaks between walking, I'll miss that most. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But we were discussing, we're passing so many pilgrims today and I feel this overwhelming sense of pride, not, not so much for myself, for everyone else, like passing people who seem like they might have mobility issues or physical condition or just normal people walking with full physical ability I pass everyone and I feel like proud of them like I want to tell them congratulations and we haven't even made it yet but just knowing everyone we pass is so close it doesn't matter where you started what accommodations you've had services you've had to help you along the way what matters is you made it what matters is you're here doing it and there's just a little bit left so there's such a nice feeling in the air, good energy, excitement between everyone and a nice camaraderie, like we're all walking in together, all finishing it together. No matter where our journeys began, we're ending in the same place. And that's what matters. Jinx! 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 Yummy soda! Jinx! 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 soda, but it's lemonade. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> at every bar, restaurant, and church we stop at that we see that is open, we're getting our stamps because in the last 100 kilometers you need two stamps a day on your passport to get the official credential from Santiago. And we're so close, we're gonna get that certificate. Almost there. Almost there. 34 days on the trail. Almost there. 34 days, 34 different beds but soon to be there yeah. to be totally honest since she and I's reasoning to do the Camino wasn't inherently spiritual or, or religious or Catholic. Of course, a lot of people do this pilgrimage for those reasons and good on them. But for us, it was about doing something out of our comfort zone, pushing ourselves physically more than we ever have, pushing ourselves mentally and emotionally, and even as a couple, testing our strength as individuals and together as a couple. And, and also to see the beauty of Spain and to experience the culture on such a deep and personal immersive level that you can only get by walking through a country. And those were our reasons, but I have to say, I think the Camino doesn't leave any pilgrim untouched in their soul.
we have made it to Monte de Gozo, which officially marks only five more kilometers. And Senchi just casually mentions, like, it's done. We we walked across Spain. It's done. It's done. So. We have officially walked across an entire country. We're now basically just in a suburb of Santiago, and from here it's all city walking until the cathedral. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're not gonna wake up another day and walk and wonder, oh, what will we see today? No, it's, it's over. It's done. It's done. That's it. We did it. It's bittersweet, it really is. <laughs> We're only 15 minutes away and we're reflecting on what a difficult journey it's been. It's been a long, hard journey. We've been through a lot physically, mentally, everything. There were times when I didn't know how I'd get through the next hour, let alone the next 500 kilometers, whatever it was. And now we just have 15 minutes. What a journey this has been. We hear some bagpipes uh -huh. waiting for us. <laughs> oh yes, this is it up here. You do get a little goosebumps because this is why you walk. This is 34 days of walking. It all comes down to right now. To this moment. And you can hear the amazing bagpipes as well. You gotta get the goosebumps. We believe this is it. Yes, this is most definitely it. We oh. <laughs> have finally made it. Oh my god, really? Oh we did it. <laughs> we have done it, guys. Oh, we've done it. Wow. Oh my god, it's different than I thought it'd be. After 34 days of walking, approximately 281 hours of walking, 40 blisters, a sprained ankle, a pulled hamstring, a pinched nerve, walking through hundreds of little Spanish towns, sleeping in 40 different accommodations and beds for the night, and walking 803 kilometers, we finally made it to Santiago de Compostela, to the cathedral itself. <sighs> we made it. We made it? 